everyone. I hope you're doing all great. My name is Insa Alawi. I am 17 years old and I am an economic student in the Faculty of Juridical, Economic and Social Sciences at Inshaq. Today I'll be reading a section from one of my favorite books called Atomic Habits. It's written by James Clear. So in this book, James tries to teach us how we can build good habits and stick to them and also how we can get rid of bad ones. So I hope you enjoy my reading session and uh, thank you so much for your time and let's start. My story. On the final day of my sophomore year of high school, I was hit in the face with a baseball bat. As my classmate took a full swing, the bat slipped out of his hands and came flying toward me before striking me directly between the eyes. I have no memory of the moment of impact. The bat smashed into my face with such force that it crushed my nose into a distorted U-shape. The collision sent the soft tissue of my brain slamming into the inside of my skull. Immediately, a wave of swelling surged throughout my head. In a fraction of a second, I had a broken nose, multiple skull fractures, and two shattered eye sockets. When I opened my eyes, I saw people staring at me and running over to help. I looked down and noticed spots of red on my clothes. One of my classmates took the shirt off his back and handed it to me. I used it to block the, st the steam of blood rushing from my broken nose. Shocked and confused, I was unaware of how seriously I had been injured. My teacher looped his arm around my shoulder and we began the long walk to the nurse's office, across the field, down the hill, and back into school. Random hands touched my sides holding me upright. We took our time and walked slowly. Nobody realized that every minute mattered. When we arrived at the nurse's office, she asked me a series of questions. What year is it? 1998, I answered. It was actually 2002. Who is the President of the United States? Bill Clinton, I said. The correct answer was George Walker Bush. What is your mom's name? Uh, um, I stilled. Ten seconds passed. Patty, I said it casually, ignoring the fact that it had taken me ten seconds to remember my own mother's name. That is the last question I remember. My body was unable to handle the rapid swelling in my brain and I lost consciousness before the ambulance arrived. Minutes later, I was carried out of school and taken to the local hospital. Shortly after arriving, my body began shutting down. I struggled with basic functions like swallowing and breathing. I had my first seizure of the day. Then I stopped breathing entirely. As the doctors hurried to supply me with oxygen, they also decided the local hospital was unequipped to handle the situation and ordered a helicopter to fly me to a larger hospital in Cincinnati. 